Uh, excellent. So welcome to another session. Get ourselves set up. First off in our standing positions, so feet are under knees, knees under hips, picking up the rib cage, shoulders back, chin tucked in. Finding that nice central point, forward and back and side to side. You just bring yourself in, holding that position there. Nice, slow breath in through the nose. Gently out. And again. The chin breath just starts to rise, the, the, the head and shoulders. And on the out breath, relax down. On the side, it's a bit like this, this in breath. Now. Yeah, a couple more of those. Nice breath in to lift. About to lower. Again. In breath to the middle. On the out breath this time, looking over the shoulder. Breath to the middle, out and across. In. Good in breath. And again, just holding, relaxing there. Through your shoulders, a nice breath in, raise the shoulders up. Out, round and down. And lift. Out and down. More down and relaxing, all arms up the quadrant, and you're raising up the in breath, out and relaxing down. If you're struggling with your shoulders, you can clasp your hands in front, in breath, out breath and down. So you choose the movement you feel you can manage. Easiest. One more. Uh, oh, I'm relaxing down. Good, just softening that. A little bit of lower limb work, coming down through the tiptoes. Good, and gently in the knees. So there, good, feet a little bit wider, just nice gentle. Movement side to side. Okay, there's 
to send back in then focus on the trunk range of motions we're going to bring the breathing back in so a nice breath in to prepare and the out breath within breathing out We're going to have a bit of a reach and hold, so breathe into the middle, breathe out, stretch over, reach the arm over the top, breathe in, stay in this position, breathe out, breathe into the middle, and breathe out, stretch the opposite side, breathe in, breathe out. In and returning back there, and just holding good into the rotation. It's a soft knees just to fix the lower quadrant, setting with your arms. And a nice breath in and on the out breath, just going to reach the arms around as you rotate the trunk, breathe into the middle. It's a big lift, breathe out, reach round. Breathe into the middle. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Out and round. In and just relaxing down on this one. Yeah, good. Okay, so we'll do a little bit of balance work before we pick up our weights. The foot to the side, behind, you need to support. If you're going to swing the right leg, you need to be holding or balancing with the right hand. We'll see why in a moment. So, foot comes up and across. And keep that foot away from the floor, so it's sort of a swinging pendulum. The opposite arm is going to join in, tap in the middle, and away to the side. Good, then if you can, overhead. Down um, changing sides, then so set up, put behind and to the side, that kind of position. You ready? Then sweeps across. Arm joining in, low arm to begin. I am and down. Excellent. Okay, a couple of full range motions. Sorry, then we bring the weights in. So nice breath in. Down, that down. Chin in. Stretching down. How far you go, you decide. In reverse. Back up and hold it there. There we go. Nice breath in. Round down. That's very good. And again.
Okay, so we're going to pick up our weights. You haven't got weights, it's okay. Just wait for your arms and your legs. And we're just going to start off with a bit of side stepping and side lunging. So as we step one side, take a weight onto the knee, and come back into the middle, and across the opposite side, and return. I'm going to do 10 on each to start. Remember how far you step, how deep you bend your knee, that's your decision. A couple more on each side. Okay, and so bring them back in. Shoulders, arms at your side, arms forward, and shrug the shoulders to the ears. And down and up to 15. Good. Touch your arms through the tiptoes, then up and down, up to 20. Remember, with all of these, you just find the level you feel confident with. Practicing regularly, you'll know what that level is. You can look to build on it. So very good. Back in through the arms, arms to the side, up to 15, we raise lower. Yeah. Excellent. Back in on the legs into our standard squats, all the way to the side, sinking your bottom down again up to that 20 repetition mark or anywhere in between you work to your own level. And down and turn. Then okay. 
Okay, arms coming forward this time. Same principle, 15 reps. And set yourself knees soft, back nice and uh, upright. When you're ready, raise them down. Five. And now yeah, good. Okay, and then back in. We're going to go steps to the front this time. So, front one foot forward, down, turn, opposite. Yeah, up to 10 on each, so seven. seven. Yeah, 10. Ten. And relax in there, good, okay. On the last one with the shoulders and a little bit of trunk down into the mat work. So curls and presses, so raise up, over, back, and down. And lift, over, back and down, up to 15. Ten. 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 Okay, put one down for the moment. Do the side bends. We'll do the roll downs and we'll go into our mat work. So, this is a uh, stable through your feet. So, you to the side, through and over. Ten on each. Then as I switch across opposite side. Ten. 
come back in there. Good. So last bit with the weights. So working on those roll downs. Again, not being afraid to kind of flex the spine. A nice breath in. And then out breath. Now, turn. Holding there. So nice breath in. And release now. Three. Swam. Finishing there. Good. Okay. So pop your weights out of the way. Sip of water. Are you ready then? Go to the kneeling position. So, step down onto your hands and knees. Okay, so as we hold there, then just rolling forward and back. Rolling. Lifting, lowering. Nice mobility in the lower spine. Focus on the upper parts, really lift up. That's the head down. Roll forward. Lift the head. And again, roll back, lift up. Down. And as you come back into that sort of mid position, leave your hands in front. And just sink your bottom down. Nice deep breaths. Okay, so focused on that kneeling action. Gonna stretch the leg behind. And down in the opposite. And with all these exercises, just works your own capacity. If you need to pause and stop, it's absolutely fine.
right? It's more challenging. Work opposite arm with opposite leg. So no, stretch away, down. Knees and down there, hands under the shoulders, knees on the hips, roll forward and back through the pelvis. Okay. Sit the bottom down. Easing out from there and resting onto your tummy. <clears throat> Taking on the tummy then through the trunk. Think of that upper and lower lifting and raising up. Down. Made easier by having your arms at your side. You made harder. Shoulder height and walk. Stretching overhead. We can we we'll try to sort of up to five more. You need to rest, fine, you need to resting, absolutely fine. Okay. Let me introduce. Plank. So, a couple of options really, depending on where you're feeling, uh, how confident you're feeling. So, the sort of entry option, the one we practiced before, you've got your hat, elbows under shoulders, and draw your hips up as if you're passing a pillow underneath your tummy. Okay. Hold it for a few seconds, how much you feel comfortable. And then we're just relaxing back down, okay? Now, if you're feeling confident and you're feeling like you can push on a little bit, you tuck your toes underneath you, like so, and then you lift up through your hips and your knees, okay? Feeling you're holding for a few seconds, and then you're lowering back down. You have to take responsibility for your level with this one. Okay, so level half plank, it's off the floor, knees stay on the floor. You just build up the time that you hold the lift for. If you're feeling a bit more confident, you can test the full plank when your toes are tucked under, it's the hips and the knees. Okay, so 
There's no pressure to do either of them. Working at your own capacity. Okay, and we're just easing up there. And we're just resting back down. Just going to bring the tension back in on the back of the legs so the hip extensors are just a lift and down. And the opposite leg back and down. So the muscles in your bottom working, gluteus maximus. If you can bring the opposite arm, opposite leg in. So as you raise the right leg, raise the left arm. If you raise the left leg, raise the right arm. If you're not happy with your shoulders overhead, just bring them down or at your sides. So you can still do the same opposite arm, opposite leg. <laughs> On each, easing down there. Come back into your kneeling position. And just give the back a nice, good stretch. Opening and closing the joints. So we're doing this stretching down, holding nice deep recovery breath. Okay. We start round onto your side. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna set up with that clam position, so hips and hips are bent. Feet are sitting in line with the body, and when you're ready, keep your feet on the floor. And open and close the knee. Okay, so we go up to twenty. We're going to do three exercises, so just keep that in mind. Normally doing ten, that's fine, or five up to ten. You work on that. Add one or two. Mindful not to be doubling it. Be confident with the 20 and then carry on. Ten more. Okay, so keep them off. Same principle up to 20, but you work at the level you feel confident with. Opening and closing.
last one. Feet in one extending the legs, raise and lower that top leg. Yeah, good. Okay, and switch sides then. The feet together, open and closing that top knee to get up to 20 repetitions. Okay. Good. Feet come off the floor up to 20, and you're working at your capacity. It's 5, 10, 15, and you stick to where you feel confident. Feet down, legs extended. Lower no, that top peg. Good. Okay. From there, easing around on your back. So first off, then just bring your feet and knees together. Gently rolling side to side, just take the tension out of the spine.
things to begin with. Okay, just start with some abdominals. So I'm going to try with the hands up towards the knees, up to 20 repetitions. Anywhere in between. Feel those tummy muscles working nice and strong. Chin sort of open, so your eyes looking towards the ceiling. The ceiling and the wall join rather than trying to stare at your kneecaps. Ten. I'm always working at your level. Don't force anything. There. Just relaxing head, neck, and shoulders down. Get pressure off the head and the neck. Little roll side to side. Just get some nice resetting again, lower spine. And the tunnels. Back in and holding there in that star position. So focus on the control of the hips. So you can draw the knee up. If you hold there, we're just going to draw little circles on the seed. Five circles. And then on the opposite. Five circles and relax them down. Just keep repeating that for the moment. Five on one, five on the other. Rising down. And this time you can carry on doing the single leg. If you want to make it a bit more challenging, you can draw both knees into the air. Keep one leg still. Do the circles on one leg. Five and hold, and then the opposite. Down, okay. You need to rest the legs down if you can. And then when you're ready, reset and carry on at a different level. In front of your hips, front of your thighs, the pressure on the tummy in your back, and you working at your own level. Next one, then four, three, two, one. Do not crash to the floor, just take the knees into the chest, and then gently down. Gently easing side to side. Set the legs away, just a bit of a stretch. And then tension out front of the hips. Back 
Again, on that start position. Our tension onto the, the back and the bottom. So just a little rolling forward and back of the pelvis. Gradually lifting the hips higher. And then the lower back ribcage. You see actions going up higher each movement, lay it back down, and again. Driving up now into that full high bridge position. Three more. It's well side to side. Just holding back there. Okay, we do one more strength exercise if you might build up to it. If you want to rest, that's fine. So options are you hold the tummy muscles nice and tight, you extend your arms, you pump your arms, okay. So this is one part of the exercise. If you're feeling a bit more confident, want to challenge it more, both knees in the air, same, shoulders are off and you're pumping. Okay, so you're in the half hundred like so, or the full hundred like so, you're going to aim to pump your arms a hundred times. Okay, it doesn't matter if you only get to 20, just the goal over the course of time is a hundred. So about 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Thirty. And the hundred again, they're crashing down, gently back with the shoulders and the neck, gently down with the legs. End of the hard work, bring those feet and knees together, just gently rolling side to side. Good. And then just down and hold. So it doesn't matter which side you're on, knees towards the floor, shoulders down. Stretch coming across the trunk, across the hips, down. Cross the nose to the opposite side. So back into the middle, then right foot over the left knee. Got that space. Then you reach the right hand through, pick up the left leg, and hold. Can't quite work there. You can just take hold of the right ankle on the right knee and put it in towards you. Okay, so you either holding it with your hands, drawing it in, or you're pulling up the opposite leg, adding on the stretch. A 
and his arm is switching across. And left foot over the right knee, left hand goes through the gap, pull up the leg. Can't quite reach the leg, take the ankle and the knee, draw it in towards you. Squeeze yourself into a sitting position there. Okay, one leg out, one leg tucked in. Pushing down to the outstretched leg. Holding that stretch. Switching legs. Okay, so you're those. <clears throat> so beginning, so rolling forward and back. Sink the bottom down. Stuff your hands, your knees, head above the chest. Your blood pressure just starts to catch up slowly. In your own time, then you just build yourself back onto your feet. Moment in that upright position, gently move side to side. Good. Rotation. As long as your head feels clear, you're not feeling lightheaded. Finish as you start with that roll down. So, nice breath in, breathing out. In. As you hold there, nice big lift from the shoulders, feet underneath, knees under hips, pick up the ribs, shoulders back, chin tucked in, weight even through the feet. Nice breath in. Breathing out to finish. Well done.